Today on BladeHQ.com, we're taking a look at the Spyderco Gail Bradley. We had this one by request on YouTube. Somebody asked if we would do it. So uh, here it is. Check it out. Nice carbon fiber. I'm, I am very attracted to carbon fiber. I think it's gorgeous. Very pretty. I'm going to be comparing it to the Spyderco Sage, also in carbon fiber. Carbon fiber stick together. Uh, so that's why I'm going to compare them. If you ever have any suggestions for comparison, feel free to leave them in the comments if you're watching this video on YouTube. Or I think I'm going to start asking for comparison suggestions. If uh, there's a knife that I'm going to do anyway, uh, I'm going to ask for suggestions on Twitter. So if you're not following Blade HQ on Twitter, feel free to follow us. We are Blade HQ. Hashtag Blade HQ. Go search it up. Very cool. Anyway, let's get to this overview. First of all, the overall length on this blade is 8.07 inches. 8 inches. Blade length is 3.4 inches, made from CPM M4 steel, crucible steel, solid stuff. You can see there's kind of a swedge there on the spine of the blade. Kind of a cool look to it. Nice little thumb ramp there, so when you're getting a nice firm grip on it, show you that grip in the hand. I feel like my hands are probably medium sized and there's plenty of real estate there and it's fairly comfortable. You'll notice that carbon fiber isn't exactly flush on the liners of the knife and that's going to create a little bit of a just nice, it's not, it may create hot spots if you're uh, using it fairly intensely but it, it also gives it a little bit more grip just a catch in your hand a little bit. That's my observation. Kind of a finger groove there, index finger groove. Feels good. I like the ergos on it. It has a Michael Walker liner lock on it. And it is fairly, and, and maybe this is because it's brand new, but it is a little difficult right out of the box there. Other things on the blade, notice that tip, kind of a modified drop point there. Cool look to it. And I believe it's slightly hollow ground if I'm not mistaken. I don't have that in front of me, but just feeling it feels hollow ground. And you can see on the other side, made in Taichung, in Taiwan, Gail Bradley. Weatherford. The weight on this knife is 5.5 ounces. It's a little bit heavier. It's got the uh, hourglass pocket clip on it, four ray reversible, so carry it however you would like. The lanyard hole there, you can see that. Not the biggest in the world, but fairly generous. Check out the bolsters in the back. And what else do you want to know? Hole diameter is half an inch. If that's what you're interested in. The blade thickness, according to my little paper here, is an eighth of an inch. Let's check it out. Hmm. 0.118 is what it's showing me there. Let's check it on the other side. 0.03. Not sure where we measure it eighth of an inch. Eh, close enough. 0.119 there. And let's show you the grind here. I'm going to guess with our very unofficial tool. Yeah, it's less than 15 degrees on there. So if that is of interest to you, less than 15 degrees on the grind. Show you compared to a tactical clothespin there. Just a size comparison. You can kind of get an idea. Regular size clothespin, very tactical. Nice jimping. And let me show you with a glove on, just so that uh, you get the whole comparison here. Spidey hole opening. And I definitely lose a lot of the grip on that, uh, that jimping. Not super aggressive jimping. There's that hand holder right there. So if you are working with a glove on, with this knife, it's going to work fine. I feel like there's enough room in that uh, handle to get the job done. I think that's about it. Let's take a look at a uh, quick comparison between 
the Spyderco Sage and the Spyderco Gale Bradley. Now, personally, I'm going to go with the Sage. Uh, reason for that, just smaller blade length, 3 inches versus 3.5 on the Gale Bradley. I also am not, so far, a fan of this Michael Walker liner lock. It's just, it's very tight. As well, if they had put that little groove there that the Sage has, it would make it so much easier to close. So you can just kind of see that cutout right in there. And that just makes it so easy to close. I am right-handed. If you're a lefty, that's going to be a problem. But, uh, yeah, that is a little bit difficulty on the difficult on the Gale Bradley. Other things about the Sage, it's got that deep carry wire clip on it that is appealing to me personally. And uh, I do enjoy the finger choil right there. So just different strokes for different folks, obviously. I mean, this one does definitely not feel as good in this grip. It's much better in this grip. S30V on the blade here, $120 on this one versus $150 on the Gale Bradley. So just different knives, different styles. Obviously, you don't get the four-way reversible pocket clip on the, uh, the Sage. But overall, very nice knife as well. Full flat ground on this one, I think. Yep, uh, nope, just flat ground. Not full flat ground. Checking that out. Anyway, very nice knife either way. Pretty cool blade shape with that spidey hole there. Uh, if you have any questions on it and you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave them in the comments. Happy to answer them if I can. And if I can't, I'll just leave it to the general YouTube audience to answer it for you. They are very helpful in that regard. Anyway, thank you for watching. Buy this knife on bladehq.com. That's the place to buy all your knives. Buy it now.